Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Yasha Allah, peace Israel. Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakah, Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit. Peace and blessings to the elect of the house of Israel scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. This is going to be a quick hit, you know. Um, I'm with the elder, Tazadaki Elder Gad. Gone. And um, we on the road, and we was building in the spirit. And we just want to do a quick edify a lesson. Lord's willing, you are edified. We kick it off. Con, yeah, this is uh, this is Job. Uh, let me see. Let's start at. I'll start at. Uh, I'll start at Job nine and twenty. Twenty two. Okay. Job the ninth chapter and the twenty second chapter. <clears throat> It says, this is one thing, therefore I said it. He destroyeth the perfect and the wicked. If the scourge slay suddenly, he will laugh at the trial of the innocent. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. You know, so the reason why I'm bringing this out is because, you know, they had that, um, well, we know who the wicked is. It's Esau, so-called white man, right? Okay? And he is the wicked that was created by Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, okay, on this earth. And the, the earth is given into him. The earth is given unto him. It's given unto his hands. That's why all this wickedness is going on in the earth now. They had that, um, that, that video in that picture at the Olympics. Right. You know, where they was making mockery of of the Lord. Of 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 Yahweh Shai and and the twelve apostles. You know? And they had um they had transvestites in there. You know? You know what I'm saying? They had they had they had uh, uh, a little kid there. I think they had a woman there. Wicked. You know what I'm saying? So that's why the scriptures say the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Because that's complete wickedness. Yeah. Okay, because first they said that uh, the Lord is a so-called white man, right? Right? And that's completely wicked, right? That's blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Now, they make a mockery of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, by putting translation uh, transvestites up there right. as the 12 apostles and the Lord so you know for you not to see you so called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans for you not to see that the earth is given to the hand of the wicked then you don't know the truth you don't understand the word of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai you don't understand the Bible the earth is truly given to the hands of the wicked because only the wicked would do that yeah you see what I'm saying? You know? All right. So it says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Wow. Well, if not, where and who is he? That's right. That's the question. Wait a minute. If this man is not the wicked. Who the hell is? And he covered the faces of the judges thereof, which he did when he set the Lord up as being uh, a so-called white man. Now they got him as transvestites, man. Yeah. Then where and who is he? Who's the wicked of the earth? Okay. All right. It's literally the so-called white man. That was all set up by who? By the so-called white man, mainly by the small hats. Okay. Yeah, I think that's my phone right there. But anyway, don't worry about it right now. Okay. It's yeah, okay. So um, I'm gonna go to um. See, that, see this, this, this is why we have to send up the prayers daily to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai to combat this wickedness, man. Right. To combat the earth being the earth given into the hand of the wicked. Okay? So this is... um. I got something for you. Yeah, go, go ahead. This go ahead. is the book of Sirach, chapter 10, verse 1. A wise judge will instruct his people. Right. A wise judge will instruct his people. Right. Not... <laughs> The, 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 the wicked ain't, ain't wise. 
right. and they ain't instructing their people. Right. All right? Because they're all wicked, man. But a wise judge, meaning the nation of Israel, will instruct his people. Mm. And that's what Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, through his men, have instructed his elect, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, in righteousness. Mm. Okay? Not setting up the Lord as being a so called white man now. It's all transvestites now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Yeah, a wise judge will instruct his people. Yeah, because, like, you had a chance and opportunity to show the real image of the Lord. Right. You could have had a display of Jake or right. so-called black men right. being the 12 apostles or 12 disciples. Right. Uh, and the Lord being a so-called black man at, um, at that table. Right. Which shows that you are not the wise right. judge. Right. Exactly. You are the wicked judge. Right. Exactly. And you were instructed in wickedness. Right, right. And then the nations in the world showing you the Bible was real and true. Because it said it's fornicating with the Lord. Con, con. Which Lord is where we going to get that? So it says, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. It says, in the government of a prudent man is well ordered. As the judge of the people is himself. So are his offices. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are they that dwell therein. Yeah, it was goes to show you the earth is given in the hand of the wicked. Right. <laughs> because so is the judge of the people are so is the judge, so are the people. All right. All right. So so this goes to show you truly that the so-called white man is the wicked. He's mm -hmm. he's the devil, he's Satan. In the, he's the uh, great he's, he's the red dragon Okay He's a serpent Okay Alright Alright He's all of the above Even the Arabs call him the uh, great Satan mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying You know Alright So yeah that, that, that goes to show you That the judge of the people now And the world that we live in now Is who? The wicked all right, which is a so-called white man. So it says, as the judge of the people is himself. So if that's what the people are portraying, yeah. that's what the leadership is, man. The leadership is a bunch of, you know, weirdos, man. S uh, sodomites. Right, right. Transformers. Yep, yep. And then you have so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that's following after <laughs> wicked leaders, man. Mm -hmm. That sell out to the so-called white man, okay? And they and they become just as much as wicked as the so-called white man. So when you got these damn churches, what do they teach you? They teach you what the so-called white man taught them, man. All right, that God loves everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know that um everybody could be saved. Uh, uh, come as you Come as you want You know what I'm saying You know mm -hmm. You supposed to rebuke a, a, a LGBT person man you, You're not supposed to say Oh yeah well come as you are Because God loves you Right. Where did they get that from They got that from plantation Christianity They got that from who The wicked judge man Alright It says in what manner of man the ruler of the city is such are they all they that dwell therein so I mean that's plain and simple who's the rulers Esau and the other heathen nations okay but mainly it's the so called white man man mm -hmm. alright mainly cause he's the one that the earth is giving in the hands into alright <laughs> and what are these people all about? Like the elder Yashawamba say, these people are about death. Okay? These people are about death. They, they're not about life. Why? Because the so-called white man gave license to the so-called Negroes, Latino, and Native American women to go get a bunch of goddamn abortions, man. Why? Because that's the rule of the people. Okay? All right? 
because he's about death. Okay? And all that shit is, is death, man. You get an abortion, that's death. Mm. So this whole world is all about death, bloodshed, murder, destruction. Okay? All right, so uh, I have a scripture right here. Mm -hmm. This is Psalms, Psalm, the uh, 125th chapter. And I'll re read the whole chapter. It's, it's, only, it's only five verses. They that trust in Yahweh shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. As the mountains around about Jerusalem, so Yahweh is round about his people from henceforth even forever. So Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is going to set up Israel forever. Okay? And the ones that trust in him, which is first starting with the elect. See, because we don't trust in the rulers of this, this damn world, man. Right? We don't believe in the LGBT community. We don't believe in abortions. Why? Because it's going against the scriptures, man. But Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is going to set up Israel, Jerusalem, which is a people before its place, which is starting with the elect, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, forever. Okay? It says, as the mountains are round about in Jerusalem, so is Yahweh. Excuse me. So the Lord is round about his people. Who's his people? The Israelites. Not the so called white man. All right? It said, it said Jerusalem, all right? It says, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth even forever. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. And yeah, and that's going, that's going first, first and foremost, starting with the elect of the nation of Israel, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? Two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It's a wrap for you, man. All right? But in the kingdom, you'll come back in the right way. Right. And Esau is not going to be able to do nothing about it, man. Okay? Even, <laughs> even Gog and Magog. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it says, For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. Do good, O Yahweh, unto those that be good. Ah, see, ah, see, that's right. see. That's starting with the elect, man. All right. It says, "Do good, O Yahweh, unto those that be good, and to them that are upright in their hearts, meaning your mind. As for such as turn aside unto their crooked ways, Yahweh shall lead them forth with." workers of iniquity, but peace shall be upon Israel. There you go. Peace shall be upon Israel. And no other nation. And no other nation on the planet Earth. Mm -hmm. Alright? So, yeah, so that's basically all of them. I don't want to be Okay, alright. This on. is Revelation 17 and 1. And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vows and talked with me saying unto me come hither i will show you i will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore mm -hmm. that sitteth upon many waters right and who is that great whore america all right america is that great whore why is she a great whore because she fornicates <laughs> fornicate. fornicate yeah 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 well, fornicate. i don't need fornicate i need to when I fornicate. Yeah, fornicate. yeah 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 <laughs> So, America fornicates <laughs> with the other nations, man, <laughs> by the way of philosophies and their policies, mm -hmm. their governments, right? So it says, with whom, see, the scriptures tell you that America's in league or in bed with the other nations. It says, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication mm -hmm. and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Oh, that's right. And that's why you saw what you saw at the Olympics. Yeah, that's right. That's the wine of her fornication. fornication. Yep, yep, that's right, that's right. Because the other nations wasn't on board, you know, 
there was a time period where, especially Russia, right. Russia isn't with all that sodomite yeah, activity. Yeah, 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 right, right, exactly. exactly. And the nations of the world wasn't with that sodomite, sodomite activity. activity. Right, right. But when you have dealings with America, you have to push that sodomite activity. Front, front. You have to be okay or, you know, America won't be doing deals with you. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. So that shows that the Olympics and all the people that participate with the Olympics, they're part of the, the uh, fornicating with the whore, man. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right, yep, yep. And everybody that's fornicating with the whore is going to be burnt with the whore. That's right. Right? Because that's the judgment. The Lord is going to burn America by the way of thermonuclear destruction. This up and coming third world's war. That is the judgment that's written. All right? So it says, So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy and having seven heads and ten horns, which is the EU. Yep. The seven heads and ten horns represents the European Union. All right? Because when you go back to the beginning of the European Union, they had something known as the Treaty of Rome. Yeah, the Treaty of Rome. Yeah. Why would they have something called the Treaty of Rome? Because right, right. this is the revival of the Roman Empire. Right, right. The seven head and ten horns was the uh, seven lands or, or the um, countries that was under the jurisdiction of Rome. And the EU is continuing that same policy or same uh, infrastructure the way the Roman Empire uh, held their infrastructure, right? So it says, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and with gold and precious stones and pearls. So when John saw her, she looked fine. Right, right, yeah. The woman in the vision, because this was a vision, but it was figurative. It was about a land, an empire, right? But this woman looked good, yeah. right? When John saw her, she looked good. And she had on purple, which symbolizes royalty. Gold symbolizes riches and wealth, right? Pearls, precious stones. It says, but listen to this point. It says, having a golden cup. It says, having in her hand full of an abominations of filthiness and of her fornication. So though this woman was beautiful, she was holding a cup in her hand that was filled with abominations. Right? And that's all the philosophies and the wickedness that America and witchcraft that America pushes on the planet Earth. Alright? But we're gonna wrap it up there. Yeah, yeah, which, which which that's what America was founded on, witchcraft. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? From its inception, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know? Uh, what, what is that? What? 1776? Mm -hmm. the, the, the birth of the, uh, the, the birth of the Illuminati. You know what I'm saying? You know? Right. You know? The uh, Masons. You know what I'm saying? You know? Mm -hmm. So this, this, this place is based off of witchcraft. You know, that, that's why they celebrate Halloween, you know, which is Sam Hain. That's a straight up Satan worship. Mm -hmm. They celebrate Christmas. That's straight up Satan worship, man. And then they have their secret societies, which are all uh, into witchcraft, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's why they have this system set up the way it's set up, because it's all through witchcraft. Yeah. It's all through the spirit of the uh, spiritual demon Satan. Yeah. Look at the back of your dollar bill. Yep, that's right. If that's not a clear description or a clear sign that this place is built off of witchcraft, I don't know what is. Exactly. That's a talisman. Yeah, that's right. It's a goddamn talisman. Yep. Why is there a pyramid with a horse? What does that have to do with money? Right, right, right. You know right. what I mean? Right. What does a, a pyramid with a horse and eye? Well, yeah, which is the eye of Horus. 
Right. That goes back into Egypt. Well, it goes back into Egypt. Egypt. Yeah. Yep. The, yep. the idols, the gods of Egypt. Yep. What does that have to do with money? Right, 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 right. This place is the, 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 uh, built on witchcraft. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. It's straight up built off of witchcraft. And then you have the owl. Thank you. Yep. You on the front the of the dollar on. bill. Oh, yep, yep. On front of the dollar bill. Yep. The all seeing eyes that the owl can see through the dark. You yes. know what I'm saying? You know? You know? So, yeah, did this place. Why would you have to have an owl on the dollar bill? Was that the gesture goes back to Molech? Right. You know what I'm saying? You know. So yeah, this place is built off of witchcraft. Yeah, you know what I'm saying point blank. Yeah. You look at your billboard signs. Yeah. Yeah. Look yep. at your clothing. Yep. That's right. That's right. All these symbols. That's why the Lord said, "The part of the part out of her, uh, be not partakers." Okay. Of her, uh, yep, yep. of her sins or her plagues. Right. Yep, yep, that's right. Don't be part. Listen, the Lord has an indignation against this place. That's right. He preserved, like you reserve a table at a <laughs> restaurant. The Lord has a reservation. He has a reservation to destroy to America. To destroy America. <laughs> All right, at nine o'clock this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me get my outfit ready. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. The Lord yeah, yeah, is prepared. Yeah, yeah. You got the four angels. Yeah, yep. yep. Holding the four, four winds. winds. Yep. Holding back that destruction. Holding back the destruction. You already created. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You That's already right. made it. Good, good, good. At this time, you know, we don't know the day or the hour, but right, right. He do. The heavenly Father he knows. Right? Knows exactly he knows. when. He knows exactly when. Yep. He's right. going to destroy this place. See, and that's the part these Christians don't want to talk about. Right. That's these part, you know, whole cab and. And the different theologians and seminary school. They don't want to talk about the second coming of our Lord. Right, right. Right? They truly don't want to talk about it. The prophecies. Right, right. They truly don't want to talk about it. Because what the scriptures say, the day of the Lord is darkness and right, not, not light. light. That's right. It's not light. That's right. Out of the four billion or however many billion people that's on the planet Earth, the Lord is only coming back for 144,000 right. men. And one third, you know, which consists of the wives and the children and the friends of the prophets. Good, good. So, if you're not a part of that one third and 144,000, you you done for, man. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You that's done it. for, man. But um, that's it. You got any last? No, nah, no, nah, brother. That, that's it. That's it. Hey, we pray and hope that you was edified. Good. We're gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai Bahashem Rakhat Kodash Till next time we say Shalom Shalom